O'Neill Cruz crushed two missiles against the Phillies and specifically against Max Castillo, collecting three RBIs and four at bats for the Pirates. His first home run was a fastball down the middle that he pulled. This ball exited at 116 miles per hour. We move into the bottom of the second, man on first, and O'Neill Cruz uh, took a changeup or slider just left right up the middle, and this ball went over everything. This second home run actually was a changeup at 84 miles per hour that was destroyed, and uh, he blasted this one at 434 feet, and it left at 114.4 miles per hour off the bat. Both of Cruz's home runs would have been candidate to land in the Allegheny River if he had hit them at PNC Park. So it is safe to assume that the Pirates shortstop will have a couple of river blasts uh, in 2024. Uh, this guy, if he stays healthy, he's going to have a monster year. I mean, the ball comes off flying off his bat constantly over 100 miles per hour exit velocity i mean look at the exit velocity on this line shot off the top of the wall this ball traveled 122.4 miles per hour if i'm not mistaken i believe that is the hardest hit ball ever in the stat cast area think about this we're talking about Giancarlo stanton we're talking about shohei otani all these guys who are constantly destroying baseballs and O'Neill Cruz is up there with them. And he's not just a great hitter, but what about his arm? How do you remember this guy was throwing 98 plus miles per hour from the shortstop position? And if you look at him and Ellie De La Cruz, they both are built quite similarly. Very tall guys. Uh, looks like they're using their lower half to pull the ball, hitting monsters. Ellie De La Cruz already hit a home run uh, this spring to travel around 470 feet. So these guys uh, are very similar, and I'm looking forward to see what both of them can do, uh, especially O'Neill Cruz now being healthy and staying healthy throughout the whole year. Uh, watch out. Uh, these guys are coming to hit uh, lots of home runs, lots of shots, and I think it's going to be fun for the game. All right, everyone, this is all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos like these. And if you're going to any baseball games soon, don't forget to use my coupon code from SeatGeek and save $20 on all your tickets. See you in the next one.